Brett Yormark, commissioner of the Big 12, it has released a statement saying the following, quote, following detailed discussions with my conference colleagues alongside UConn leadership, we have jointly decided to pause our conversations at this time. We will instead focus our attention and resources to ushering in this new era of college athletics. Once again, from Commissioner Brett Yormark, following, <clears throat> following detailed discussions with my conference colleagues alongside UConn leadership, we have jointly decided to pause our conversations at this time. We will instead focus our attention and resources to ushering in this new era of college athletics. <clears throat> Basically, that's a nice way of saying Commissioner Yormark did not have the 12 votes needed, 12 votes by the presidents, to get this done at this time. That's what they're saying. <laughs> okay. Not much has changed, and you know, they, can, they can talk about this new era of college athletics, talking about revenue sharing and, and NIL and, and all of that, and where the schools are going to come up with the first year, I think the, the judge is going to rule today, later on today, regarding the house settlement, which would usher in the start of revenue sharing to the athletes of $23 million in the first year. It's probably going to go up each year for the next 10 years. So for the schools like UH, where will that money come from? $23 million. That's a lot of money when you're struggling, when you're not selling out your football games. That's an issue. But I think it's a cop out as well. also because I'm, I'm going to take a throw, toss a rock at my alma mater that I love dearly, truly, deeply. This first year or two in the in the Willie Fritz football era at Houston is going to be a struggle as indicated by the season opening loss at home to UNLV. So what is the difference or how much of a difference is it for Houston to struggle under a new head coach compared to what UConn football would be doing if they join the Big 12. I mean, heck, some of UConn football, UConn might have better uh, or more, well, more wealthy alums willing to contribute to NIL and the collectives than Houston does, apparently. Houston has struggled these first, what is this, th year three of NIL and collectives, has struggled to, to generate enough money to be really competitive regarding collective, regarding retaining or going out and getting talent. So I just wonder about it. I'm not surprised the Cougs lost on Saturday to UNLV. I'm surprised that the offense struggled as mightily as it did. I was disappointed in the number of penalties. The team had 10 penalties. The offensive line Look bad, which was a concern for months. And that concern was justified and displayed on the field. But the Cougs have been a group of five school for longer than it's been a Big 12 school. So that means the money, the revenue has been less for years. And they're still not getting the full share from the Big 12 until next summer. So the rationale from some, some folks in media, some folks, some AD, some presidents in the Big 12 about, oh, we can't have UConn football right now because there'll be an anchor on the, on the league. Well, you ain't football for a year or two might be an anchor. <laughs> you know, I'm just real talk. But I trust Coach Fritz. He will turn things around. He will write the ship 
he will clean up the mess that was left for him by that previous staff. It's going to take a while. 